see U2 last night. Lumineers opened up over at Heinz Field. Turned out to be a pretty beautiful night. And uh, you got a little bit of uh, extra insight into, well, what's going to be coming out later this year, from what I understand. Uh, well, yeah, we don't know a release date for it, but U2 has said that they are going to be putting out another album, their first since 2014, later on this year. Um, I believe uh, people are expecting it to be called Songs of Experience, to kind of go along with their last album, Songs of Innocence. And they, of course, were in town last night, and... Somehow, I'm still not even sure exactly what happened, but I managed to uh, go backstage and before the show, while the Lumineers were playing, actually, and I heard a couple of tracks that are going to be on or could be on the next record. Who knows? Everything's uh, in flux with, uh, you know, at this stage of the game. And, uh, and members of the band popped by while I was listening to various tracks. So it was a very surreal experience. Um, there was four songs that I heard. The first one was a song called uh, either American Pop or American Rock, something along those lines, uh, centered on some real, uh, you know, distinctive edge guitar riffing, very distorted and that unique edge-like style. I was kind of thinking of it sort of uh, like vertigo in some ways. It's got that very wall of sound, in-your-face sound, just real, a lot of energy. Uh, lyrics praising American music, rock and roll, and soul um, could be a single, so uh, it'll be very interesting. And uh, while listening to that song, Bono sort of walked into the room just wandered into the just room. wandered into the room and then just shouted out something like Pittsburgh rock and roll and uh, there was a, a very small group of us who were listening to these songs so it was very uh, very strange and then he introduced the next song that we heard a song called Summer of Love and uh, Bono talked about when uh, U2 has some time off they like to go as a treat for themselves to uh, the south coast of France for a little vacation and Bono said he was there and he was thinking about this guy in Syria called Abu Wad who was dubbed the guard Gardener of Aleppo. He's a guy who grew flowers in a, uh, in a garden, operated sort of like a garden center in the, that war-torn city, and he sold flowers to other people to try to bring some color and beauty into the city uh, in Aleppo. So uh, he was uh, subsequently killed in a bomb blast, and so Bono was thinking about him and realizing that the Mediterranean Sea that he was sort of overlooking in the south coast of France is the same sea that touches the west end of Syria where uh, this guy Abu Wad lived. And so that was sort of the inspiration for this song, Summer of Love. A uh, really great song. It had a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, recent U2 songs have had this really like kind of tough production, real uh, grasp you by the shirt tails and shake you sort of production. This one had a lot more sonic space to it. It, it had this really sort of great soundscape. It, it, it was a, a terrifically um, enjoyable song. Um, any, that, any word on who is producing the new record? Uh, from what I understand, there's a lot of producers involved, uh, like the last record, and they've worked with various people over time. Uh, we've heard Danger Mouse, we've heard Steve, Steve Lillywhite, their old uh, uh, early producer. Uh, you know, yeah, lots yeah. of lots of folks who have been talked about, and you know, it could be a whole mix of people in, uh, producing individual tracks. Uh, but this song, Summer of Love, it had uh, some nice lines like, I've been thinking of the West Coast, but not the one you know. Um, and I, I think that one is going to be a, a real favorite when that comes out and I believe Bono said unless I misheard him that uh, doing some backing vocals on it was Lady Gaga which was very interesting and while listening to the song Bono starts singing along with his own recorded voice which is you can imagine this has been pretty surreal a surreal experience yeah. to be in that room uh, the, the next song that I heard was called You're the Best Thing About Me inspired by Bono's wife Allie uh, he said yesterday that he began dating um, her the same week that U2 was formed. And in quite an understatement, he said, it was a good week. <laughs> uh, he said they've been just calling the song, or I heard that they were just calling the song Best Thing, just as for short, uh, amongst themselves. But Bono really wants the full title to be out there. You're the best thing about me because he wants to make sure people understand the full equation that uh, his wife kind of makes him a better person. Uh, it could be uh, musically kind of a, a beautiful day sort of a vibe, kind of that big mm -hmm. song that I think people will gravitate towards. Could be a good, uh, uplifting, catchy single with a big production sound. So, uh, And then the last track, I'm not really sure of the title. It might have been uh, Light or The Light or Light of Hope, something like that. Uh, it started off with a lot going on, and I didn't quite... Uh, 
It wasn't as memorable as some of the others. I don't recall too much about it. Uh, it had a good groove, nice danceable rhythm. And towards the end of the track, there was this really cool drum break, and then it went into this big sing-along chorus. And I can totally imagine, you know, kind of a big stadium full of people singing along to it. I, I um, Actually, at, at that point, um, Bono had wandered off, and uh, Adam Clayton had... <laughs> Wandered, wandered into, the, into yeah. the room, and uh, I told Adam, like, I would love to hear that song live because it just has that vibe of being kind of a, a song that people are going to want to sing along with. So uh, so there you go. There's uh, a little bit of uh, uh, maybe a preview. They, they he, you know, they talked about various tr tunes that were in process, and they've been working on a lot of different songs, so who knows if any of these songs are going to wind up on their next record, when that album's going to come out. Uh, they did, of course, end with, uh, in their actual concert, they ended with a song called The Little Things That Give You Away, which is a new song. So everybody who went to the concert last night got a, a, a taste of what may be on the next record. But I figured I'd uh, let you know about That's doing awesome. a little reporting about what was going on behind the scenes. Seems like a, maybe a little step up from uh, what's gonna, what was Songs of Innocence. Uh, it was, I wouldn't say a uh, forgettable album, but not uh, as memorable as uh, some of their other material. Yeah, yeah, I would say it wasn't quite as memorable. This one, I, I, I think, should be more memorable, at least from the little taste I got. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing it, without All a right. doubt. All right, sounds good. Thanks for the update, and uh, uh, congratulations to be able to even remember some of the lyrics while you're sitting in the midst of people just wandering into the room. It's, you know, and I'll tell you, as, as, from the band. as anybody who's ever had, if you've had anybody creative in your life, whether a songwriter, an artist, a writer, to be able to have you experience their art and then have their them sit there watching you listen to it or you know, you see it for the first time it can be unnerving now when bono is sitting right next to you while you're listening to one of his songs for the first time yeah there's a lot of pressure to make sure that you know you're able to react to it honestly but also you know you don't want to be rude to the guy so it's it's a very uh, weird thing to have happen i would have been tempted to give him a little bit of an elbow <laughs> give him a hard i have time. to admit i did want to touch adam's hair <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has very nice hair, and I just wanted to see whether it was kind of uh, spiky and sharp or whether it was soft. And you know, I'm, <laughs> All right. That passed quickly, though. That's good. Well, thank you very much for the update on you, too. We're looking forward to the record uh, sometime in the future, hopefully before the uh, end of the year. All right. It's 123. This is 91.3 WYEP with the latest from the band Alt-J and in Cool